Hello Dub Nation, Klay Thompson will leave the Warriors in free agency this summer, and the Raptors are the favorites for the deal, according to Shams Charania. In the last few hours, rumors have grown about Klay Thompson's imminent departure. Catching the attention of the Toronto Raptors, Klay Thompson's future with the Golden State Warriors is not yet guaranteed. Tensions rise between Klay Thompson and the Warriors owner. Klay Thompson and Golden State Warriors owner Joe Lacob have suffered some strain in their relationship, according to Sam Amick of The Athletic. Here's what Amick had to say in the report, Thompson always knew he would likely have to wait until his free agency arrived this summer. With Lacob's well-documented hopes of dodging the second and possibly first luxury tax apron forcing them to leave the roster scenario fully unfolds before adding salary. But it's clear their relationship has suffered some strain along the way, with league sources indicating that Thompson has received no assurances from on high that his hopes of becoming retiring happily in a Warriors jersey will someday be shared. Priority this summer It seems clear that both sides have no clarity on what might happen when that moment arrives. Lacob had previously expressed confidence that the Warriors would eventually reach an agreement with Thompson. But even if the two sides end up reaching an agreement, it looks like it won't be an easy road to get there. Thompson has been a shadow of his former self this season, and his struggles have led to moments of great frustration for him on the court and behind the scenes. The Toronto Raptors are in dire need of change, following the departures of Pascal Siakam and OG Anunoby, bringing in an experienced player like Klay Thompson would be a solid commitment to build around Scotty Barnes. Thompson could actually help them a lot. One of the greatest idols in the history of the Warriors, Klay Thompson did not sign a contract extension with the franchise and, as a result, became a target for other NBA teams. This season, the 34-year-old has an expiring salary of $43.2 million. Thus, he will be an unrestricted free agent next offseason. In other words, he can sign with any team in the league and the Raptors are considered the favorites for the deal. Still according to Shams Charania from The Athletic, Thompson noticed a change of scenery. He is averaging 17.3 points and 3.5 rebounds on 42.1% shooting and will be a free agent at the end of the season. We all know that Klay Thompson's career is coming to an end. Klay Thompson was recently moved to the Golden State Warriors bench and he has struggled as Steve Kerr started this season. Thompson no longer boasts the explosiveness that made him a fearsome off-ball scorer. Two serious injuries accelerated his age-related decline. Even with his decline, Klay Thompson is seen internally as an excellent market opportunity for several teams, especially the Raptors, after all he is still a good shooting threat. Toronto is looking like it might not even make the play-in tournament and is facing many of the same issues it did last season, a lack of shooting and an offense that ranks in the bottom third of the league and Klay Thompson is an expert in that regard. Furthermore, as already mentioned, Thompson would help facilitate Barnes' growth, giving the team much better spacing. The Warriors were unable to reach an agreement on an extension with him, so he will be a free agent this summer. The Raptors would acquire his bird rights, allowing him to be brought back on a cheaper deal. 11th pick in the 2011 draft, Thompson has an enviable resume. After all, he is a four-time NBA champion with the Warriors and a five-time All-Star. He was also named twice to the league's ideal third team and once to the defensive quintet. With the U.S. team, he won two gold medals, the World Cup in Spain, 2014, and the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, 2016. Furthermore, he is considered one of the best pitchers of all time. He won four championships in his career alongside Stephen Curry and Draymond Green. However, disagreements over a contract extension could lead to Thompson and the Warriors parting ways. Klay Thompson's future with the Golden State Warriors is not yet guaranteed. As a result, other NBA franchises are already keeping an eye on the four-time champion. One of them is the Toronto Raptors. Talks about renewal between the player and the San Francisco team's management have been going on since before the start of the 2023-24 season and, to date, no agreement has come close to being signed. The Warriors also contribute to the uncertainty of Clay's future with the team, mainly because he has not been consistent since the start of the season. 
On February 15th, Golden State's last game before the All-Star break, Thompson came off the bench for the first time. Since 2012, when he was a freshman, the point guard was replaced by rookie Brandon Podziemski. The Warriors rookie is starting in place of Klay Thompson, and a source revealed how the rising young star feels about it. I spoke to Brandon Podziemski, who is now starting in Clay's place, and asked him about what the dynamic has been since you entered the starting lineup between you and Clay Thompson, he said. And he said it's weird. It's weird because he understands what Clay means to this team and the trajectory they've had. But he says Clay has been supportive. Haynes said on the Hash This League Uncut podcast. He said he's helping him by sharing with him where he should be on both ends of the court in different sets. They play together in the rotations they use. And he said Clay Thompson made it clear to give him the ball, like, bring give me the ball when I'm there. So Clay is trying to shoot that bad boy when he walks in. While coach Steve Kerr said Clay starting games on the bench wasn't necessarily a permanent fixture, it certainly seems to be working. In the Warriors' win over the Wizards on Tuesday, Thompson scored 25 points off the bench and shot 9-6 to six from the field, grabbing 3 rebounds and 4 assists. The four-time NBA champion admitted the benefits. In turn, Klay Thompson wanted to prove himself. The athlete scored 35 points and 6 rebounds. The problem is that he hasn't had many performances at the same level than the Warriors' other 52 games so far. Still, Thompson is not expected to re-sign with the Warriors this summer. To remain in San Francisco, Clay Thompson even signed a contract with a lower salary and duration, but the agreement was not reached. For the front office, the only non-negotiable piece at this point is Stephen Curry. Thompson, 34, probably has two or three seasons left in the league. If it continues to decline, this period could be shorter. This season, he is averaging 17.1 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. He is shooting 41.8% from the field and 37.2% from three-point range. As one of the best shooters the NBA has ever seen, Klay Thompson is looking for a starting role on a new team. Klay Thompson will look to sign another big contract before entering the twilight of his career. One of the biggest questions hitting into the offseason is, will Clay sign this last big contract with another team or with the Warriors? It's a fair question to ask, especially considering recent reports seem to indicate there will be a robust market for the all-star point guard. In a recent appearance on the Pat McAfee show, the Athletics' Shams Charanian noted that rival teams could target Clay this summer, which in addition to the Toronto Raptors also include the Los Angeles Lakers, LA Clippers, Miami Heat, and Orlando Magic. There has been speculation all season whether this would be Thompson's last season in a Warriors uniform. And although he was not traded or acquired at the NBA trade deadline, there appears to be a growing chance that this could end up being his final season in Golden State. On one hand, the Warriors are struggling and it may be in their best interest to make a change. And second, if Clay is seeking that last big salary, it might not come from the Warriors, especially considering how locked down his finances are at the moment. Dub Nation, should Clay Thompson leave? Comment why for yes or in for no. Leave your comments, opinions, criticisms, suggestions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Gold Blooded News. Turn on notifications so you know when I send new news. A hug and see you next. We're Gold Blooded! Go Dubs!